you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Danielle hello welcome back I normally do week in my life vlogs but we're doing something a little bit different today I live in New York City and I love fashion so much I feel like I infuse it a lot in my vlogs and my Instagram and my TikTok everywhere um, but I don't make a lot of dedicated videos towards it and I really want to something I'm really trying to build right now is a capsule wardrobe and kind of editing my own closet down to the things that I truly wear every day. Things that are really easy to wear with different things, very versatile pieces. Because I've noticed when I go to travel, I'm bringing all these different things when in reality, I'm like, let me pair this down and then make it so that shirt goes with three different pairs of pants, stuff like that. So I've been slowly collecting some pieces to show in a video for you guys. So it's kind of a haul, but some of these pieces are from my closet that I just pulled to kind of talk to you guys about. Um, but I am, I don't even know how to describe my style because I really feel like I kind of adapt to whatever environment I'm in. Like when I'm in New York, I'm like chic, woo. But then when I go down to Florida, I'm like Florida, hee hee, sunny, yay, flowy, everything. Um, then I go to Nashville and I'm like, cowboy boots, let's go. Like, I love to just dress where I, for where I am and for my mood that day, honestly. But I think at the end of the day, I do have an overall style because when I'm shopping with my friends, they'll say, Danielle, that is so you. So I'm like, oh, what does that mean? You know, like whenever your friend says that, you're like, oh, so that's something I would wear. You're not wrong, but it's good to know that's how you perceive me. So it's it's been cool and I've been doing my little research. But anyways, I found that I feel the best in certain outfits, certain pieces of clothing. And I've just found myself in so many situations in the last year or two where I'm like, oh, I have to get ready for something to go out or go to an event or brunch with friends. And I don't even know where to start. I have so much in my closet and I'm fully aware of that. But for some reason, I really struggle with, you know, oh, I have nothing to wear. I feel like everyone has this. So I've been really inspired by um, people online that I follow, like Matilda Jerf, Castamico. Um, I'm blanking on so many people like, just so many people who I follow, I feel like they've just perfected this capsule wardrobe and they wear a ton of the same things, but they style them so differently. So that's what I'm gonna be talking about today. Um, I just, and you know, granted it's a lot of neutrals. Uh, the most color you'll get from me for this video is blue. Um, but that's not to say, obviously I wear a color, I do, but for a capsule wardrobe, it's just nice because everything kind of goes together. So I'm gonna be showing you guys some pieces I've picked up in the last few months, in the last year even that I found have helped me and it's just been I've been like excited to get dressed in the morning so I'm like oh I have all these things that go with so many different things um so I will link everything I showed down below as well as like other options maybe more inexpensive options things like that um or if it's like out of stock or if it's old um, I'll link something super similar down below um so let's get started i have no really rhyme or reason of how i'm doing it but we're just gonna get into it well i guess i'll start with my outfit right now i'm just wearing some jeans they're um like some straight leg blue jeans but i did just get this top i absolutely love it oh also i'll be trying everything on so don't worry this is i've been eyeing this for so long and i finally got it it's a blazer from helsa anything helsa you guys i am so obsessed with elsa hosk's um brand it's sold on Revolve forward, I think mode operandi as well. She just does a great job and she is the epitome of like her everything she releases I feel like can be paired all together and it's so cute. But anyways, this is just like a typical blazer but it literally is cinched right here. It also comes in a beige color and then you, I just buttoned it. I don't know if I should be like rolling my sleeves though. Maybe I should. And it's also you have to take note of what you feel good in. Like I feel so good in an outfit like this. Like I love a tailored look but some people might not. They might think it's too boxy. I love the shoulder pads. You're gonna be seeing some more shoulder pads in this video. I feel like we need to start with tops in specific black tops um, because I feel like universally people just love to wear black. It's very slimming, it's very flattering, you feel very chic. Um, so I've collected some black tops that are have just been so perfect. Like, which one? Oh, this has been my favorite. I've worn it a few times. This is from the brand Norma Kamali. It is this beautiful off the shoulder black top, but it actually stays off the shoulder. It doesn't ride up, it doesn't ride down. It's so beautiful. It makes your decollete and like collarbones look so nice. It's kind of longer, so you could wear it over your pants or you could tuck it in. I tucked it in the other day with trousers and a belt and it looked so good. So this is a prime example of Okay, so I have a black top. You could pair it with a skirt, jeans, trousers, any pants you want. And then I found to pull it all together, having a belt just makes you look like you planned this outfit weeks ago. I'm telling you. 
Um, so this is one of my favorite tops right now. It's perfect for going out or during the daytime. Um, again, it's really flattering because it's off the shoulder and it actually stays. Like I said, it's from the brand Norma Kamali. And I'm quickly learning that Norma Kamali is a brand that I feel really good in. Like everything I've purchased from Norma Kamali, I love. It's just like this really amazing stretchy yet thick material that I feel really good in. So I feel like you start to learn the brands that you love, like a pair of jeans, like what brand of jeans fits to your body the best, stuff like that, and you start to learn. So I'm starting to learn that I like this brand. Before I delve more into the tops, I did wanna highlight my two favorite belts because I feel like belts are definitely in right now, but they're always in. I mean, belts literally hold your pants up. So these are my top two most worn. I think these would be great for your closet um, because I wear silver and I wear gold. I feel like most people wear a lot of gold, but some wear silver, and I've been recently pulling for silver things a lot. So this belt is from the brand Orium Collective. It's just black, gold, simple. I like that it's not super thick, actually, because it doesn't overpower an outfit. It just kind of will pull, like if I'm wearing black trousers with a black shirt, it kind of pulls it all together. So I really like that one, but there's also way, like that's a little bit of a higher end one, but they also have, I'll have dupes linked down below. This, I love, this is from the brand Below the Belt. This is a little bit thicker, um, but this always pulls an outfit together. This is silver buckle. I like it because I can, um, it has enough holes that I can wear it like up here to like cinch a blazer or I can wear it around my waist. So I really like this one, it's very versatile. This brand has so many great ones, but I feel like having a black and gold belt and a black and silver belt will take you far. Also a brown belt, but I've had trouble with brown belts because then I want to tie it in with like a brown shoe and it never matches. So those, that's why I only included those two. Another top I got recently, this is from the brand Enza Costa. They also have really great basics, but again, you can find something like this anywhere. I just really like the quality of this. This top is perfect because it's definitely a little bit more intricate. It's not just like a plain shirt. It's another off the shoulder, but it has some detailing. This is from Abercrombie. Abercrombie has such great, I'll say elevated basics. Like some of the stuff I'm showing you is very simple, but then this, this is something you can wear all the time because it's black and it's simple and it's not patterned, but it does have something going on with it. So I don't know, I feel like this is kind of that perfect mix and it's also so stretchy and cinchy and snatchy, which I love, um, but this is so, so cute on with a pair of jeans, a little mini skirt for going out if you want. Um, but this is a perfect, like when you have those like going out tops, like I'm always in need of like going out tops that I feel good in at age 25 because I can't wear like the same things maybe I was wearing in college. This one, I am so excited to wear. This is the by the brand Norma Kamali as well. This is like a half long sleeve situation. Um, I have to give credit again to Castamico. She recently linked this and I was like, I need it. You might think, oh, I don't know how I feel about it because it's like not short sleeve, not long sleeve. But she was saying, she was like, it's perfect if you're maybe self-conscious about your arms or that's just, or you don't like to highlight your arms, let's say. It's perfect because it's not a long sleeve so it won't be super hot, but it kind of covers up this area and it just looks so chic. I, that's not why I'm telling you what's not me promoting anything, but I was like, oh, you know, maybe if I'm having a bad day, I'm like, I wanna bring in the arms a little, bring in the guns. This is so perfect and it's so flattering on again. This is the ultimate basic. I've had this for so long. I, I love her so much. This is a Skims tee. I've tried all of the teas. Skims and Cuts actually. Cuts Women is great, but Skims has been my go-to because they have different um, shapes, different styles. So I'll have this one linked down below. It's kind of a softer, thicker material. They also have a thinner one, um, that, but it almost looks a little bit more athletic and I find it like rolls up on my body. So I don't really like that. So I like this one that's like, I think this is like the cotton jersey maybe. I'll have it linked down below, whatever it is. This one is a size medium. Um, and I love it, it looks so good with jeans and a belt. I wear this all the time, you guys probably recognize it. But I love her so much. Also, I have this in white and I love that so much. Another top I got recently, also from Norma Commodity, I'm obsessed with because it's just like a black button down collar. It has shoulder pads. And I find shoulder pads to be so flattering. I don't know what I love about them, but I just feel like it kind of, obviously it elevates the look 
and then it literally elevates your shoulders and I just find it to be very flattering. Um, and I'm, I'm just out here trying to buy things that I feel good in and I feel good in stuff like this. So this is a black button down. I mean, you can wear this to work, tuck it into some trousers um, or this looked so good the other day. I tried it on with jeans and a belt and like some sling back heels, boom, done. I know I'm saying like everything with trousers, but like any pair of pants that you want other than like sweatpants, I guess. Um, but really, or you could wear this with a skirt and belt that. You don't even have to belt it. I just, to style this. Also just got this jacket. I feel like that in between time between spring and summer is always really hard because it's definitely nippy outside. Like you can't not wear a jacket, but it doesn't warrant like a puffer jacket. So this jacket I just got from the brand Naked Fashion. They have a lot of great basics and cute trendy pieces um, for like less expensive. So this is like a wide collar, kind of like a bomber jacket, but I liked how it had the collar, very cute. You can also easily find this at like a thrift store, vintage. I feel like a lot of these are always there. Um, I just loved the cut of this. Love how you can zip it up or I just envision myself wearing this white tank, blue jeans, sneakers or heels to dress it up. Could belt it if you want, you don't even need. Or this is also a great travel jacket if you wanna travel with it, but then also have it as a light jacket when you're on your trip. I will also be showing you guys pants, but I just couldn't hang them all up here. So bear with me. This top or these tops are from Zara, you would think, if you know the brand Wardrobe NYC, you would think, I would think, these are from like Wardrobe NYC or, or like Reformation or something. Literally Zara, I got them in a size medium for both. They are so snatchy. So this is, I, I might wear this tonight to something I'm going to. It's just a white bustier. I find I feel really good in bustier tops. So, um, but this one is just so chic with like trousers to match or like a little mini skirt, like I said or jeans again and then i also got it in black it is so good this could be a going out top this could be a brunch fit if you dress it right i can't believe i found this on zara i i thought they were too good to be true when they came in the mail and they fit and they looked so nice like they're thick quality i was like i could never ruin these these are my prized possession and i hope you guys can still find these on zara because they're so nice got this oversized white button down also from norma kamali um, but it's a bodysuit, which is so nice, especially I feel like shirts like this, I tuck in all the time and then they get all lost, but this is a bodysuit. So it'll kind of pull it down and it'll look really nice when tucked in. This is like an oversized look. I've been on the hunt for a shirt like this that actually stays in the right place and looks good and is thick enough material that I could wear a bra underneath and I found it. This is from Reformation. Reformation has great basics, it's a little bit more expensive. When I saw this shirt, I simply had to have it. It cinches, it's like an ivory shirt, but it like hits, it's not completely off the shoulder. Like one is a little bit higher than the other on the shoulders and it looks so nice. So I love this shirt too. Also, I got this blue button down top from Cezanne a while ago. I feel like this is just a nice layering piece. I really envision this. This is so preppy, like I'm obsessed. Like with this, with cream or white pants. Or you could layer this, like wear this and then a blazer over top. Maybe unbutton this, like a tank, a, a, a tank, this shirt, and then a blazer. I think that would be really cute. Matilda Jerf does that sometimes and I'm like, that is cute. Let's get into pants. I wanna, wanna start with these jeans because they have changed my life. I can't stop talking about them. They're from the brand Girlfriend Denim. I will have the exact ones linked down below. Um, I've bought them in a few different washes now because I love how they fit. They're just the perfect straight leg jean. I've been on the hunt far and wide. I do love Abercrombie Curve Love Collection because I do have like wider hips. So sometimes like the perfect straight, straight leg is really hard for me, hence why I end up just wearing baggy pants all the time. Um, and I still love me a loose jean. But I was like, I need a little bit more of a tailored jean for when I'm going out. I want to feel good and look cute. And I do feel good and cute in baggy pants, let me just say. But anyways, you get the point. So I found these. I will say they have zero stretch to them, but that's why I like them because they really snatch everything in and just look so good. There's no rips, no nothing. It's just a nice blue jean. I sized up two sizes in this. I got it a size up because I found Girlfriend Denim run small, at least for me and that wasn't good enough, but I was so determined. So I returned, got a, another size up and they fit perfectly. So I will say that if you are a little bit curvier like me, I would size up two sizes. These are trousers, not just any trousers. They are from Abercrombie, which we already love, um, but they are from the Curve Love line at Abercrombie. I literally love the Curve, line, Curve Love line so, so much. 
Um, so these are just simple black trousers, but sometimes I find with trousers, they like fit my waist, but then they're really tight and uncomfortable in the crotch thigh area, and I don't feel cute at all. So I find with the curve love line, they look so good. So that's my personal preference, but either way, having a black trouser will take you far. I feel like it's good for work, but also you can really elevate a whole look like easily. So have the same trousers in a cream ivory color. They have a few different colors. This is also from the Curve Love line, but I would pair this with any of these tops. So spring, so summer, so cute. And I just had to include these because they're quickly becoming very important in my wardrobe. These are the Rag and Bone sweatpant jeans. There's a name for them. They're the Miramars or something. They have a ton of different washes. I started off, I got a pair of the dark wash ones and then I got these light wash ones. They look like jeans, you guys, right? But they're literally sweatpants. They are so comfortable. And what I like about these, a few of them, they have like fake buttons and fake belt loops. These, it's real belt loops and a real button and a real zipper. So it really looks like you're wearing jeans. And this is perfect because I've been wanting to look a bit, little bit nicer when I fly recently. I don't know why, I still want to be comfortable though. So this is great. Just wear this with like a white tee and a sweater. You could still bring a jacket sweatsuit. Like this is perfect if you're running out the door to run errands and you're like, I have a mismatched outfit on, just throw these on and any shirt and like slides or like loafers and you look so put together. Um, my friend Cassidy Castola, she's a stylist, she got me on these. I'd seen them before and I was like, oh my God, I don't know. And then when I saw her in person, I was like, why are you wearing jeans on our flight? And she was like, they're literally sweatpants. So I was immediately interested. And then I feel like just having your go-to pairs of shoes, like I found that I love a black sling back heel that's comfortable, that immediately elevates an outfit. I love a tall boot. For me, I like a tall black boot, um, a good pair of like, nicer sneakers that you could wear with a nicer outfit. I know some people don't like pairing sneakers with things. I feel good in sneakers and I live in New York. I'm walking everywhere. I need sneakers, um, jewelry, have your like everyday gold hoops, silver hoops, a statement earring that just immediately brings an outfit to life stuff like that. I really hope you guys got something out of this video. Again, I'm gonna link everything I showed and dupes and similar items down below for you guys. Um, but honestly, this is a journey we're joining together and um, I just wanna be able to, I just wanna be a chic girly. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you like videos like this. I'm happy to make more in the future. I'm honestly learning as we go. So I thought I'd take you guys along my journey of building out a capsule wardrobe and kind of like editing my closet. Like I just did a huge spring cleaning, donated a ton because I was looking through. I'm like, does this give me a joy? Like, do I see myself wearing this three different ways? No, it's gone. Like, that's how I feel. So I love you guys and have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching.